Are you overworked in your business? When you have to leave your business to take care of your family, do you find it difficult to do so? Can you even call the business you want to start or the one that you have right now a business? Well, your business may not really be a business. Find out why. I'm very excited because I'll be talking about something controversial that was life-changing for me. And I'm also very excited because you are here. You may not like what I'm going to say, but if you just keep an open mind, this can also be life-changing for you as well. Because I'll tell you the reasons why your business may not really be a business. What I'm going to share with you is not my own invention or conclusions, but it's from a book that I read. Have you read or have you heard of Robert Kiyosaki's best-selling and life-changing book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad? Robert Kiyosaki taught so many concepts in this book, and it's a very old book already, but many people are still reading it and are now deciding not to become or not to remain as employees rather because of him. Now, I don't have time to give you a summary of the book now, but you can Google it or read it. And I promise you that your mindset about just having a job will surely change after this. What I want to talk about in this video is a diagram from this book about the four ways to make money. Kiyosaki calls it the cash flow quadrant. Now, to explain it, we will use this sketch. The first way to earn money is in the letter E, which stands for employee. The employee has a job. When you are an employee, you exchange your time for money. Everybody knows that, right? You work eight hours a day, and regardless of how hardworking you are or not, you get the same pay. No work, no pay. Now, a better way for you to make money, according to Kiyosaki, is to go down the quadrant to letter S, which stands for self-employed. You can start with a side hustle and then switch to doing this full-time when you can. Now, here, you are your own boss. You don't have a job. You own a job, your side hustle. Now, this is better because the harder you work, the more money you get. The examples here are freelancers like VAs or virtual assistants, plumbers, doctors, dentists, lawyers, surgeons, and others who are not really employed. The downside is when you do not work, you don't earn anything. For example, if you get sick, even a simple LBM or headache, you have zero income for the day, right? Now, what if, knock on wood, the doctor meets an accident and loses his hand? Can he still earn? This is because the self-employed depend on themselves financially. So, Kiyosaki says that the next best way to make money here is in quadrant B as a business owner. Now, I want you to pay attention to how he defines a business owner as someone who owns a system and has people working for him. This means that even if he gets sick or loses a hand, knock on wood, he still makes money. This is as long as he has people working for him following his systems. Now, is this your understanding of what a business is as well? We'll go back to that later. But now, let's go to the last item in cash flow quadrant, which is the last way to make money. And that is the letter I, which stands for investor. This is when you put your money in the bank, in stocks, in real estate, in mutual funds, or any financial vehicle. Now here your money earns money for you. Money begets money, even when you are sleeping. Now, which is the best way to make money among all of them? It's I, for investments, of course. Now, if you are an employee now, can you be an I? Yes, you can start, but you will need millions to be able to buy enough real estate or mutual funds or stocks that will allow you to resign from your job and to live comfortably. It's a bit difficult, especially when you're only living from paycheck to paycheck. So the next best thing is for you to be an S, to be self-employed. And that's by starting with a side hustle if you are an employee. Just like baking cakes and selling them, or buying stuff from Divisoria and selling them on Lazada or through Facebook, you might already be doing it. And you might even be asking me now, Mommy Anne, is that not really a business? Is that not a business? And this is where we go back to the topic of this video. Kiyosaki says, you need to have people working for you and a system that the people follow before you can call it a business. So yes, to sell your cakes and anything else, you need a business permit and the government considers it a business. But Kiyosaki does not. 
because when something happens to you, knock on wood again, your business cannot continue to go on. So Kiyosaki calls those gigs like making cakes and doing all those other stuff as self-employment and not business. As long as the income still depends on the amount of work that you do on a day-to-day -day basis. Now, as self-employed, how long will you work? So you'll have millions to invest as an investor because you're just depending on yourself which is actually the last quadrant, which is letter I, right? So that you don't have to work anymore. So it will take a long, long time. And therefore, a better way to earn is to become a business owner. From S, go to B. And B in quadrant B. So how do you become a B? Well, you need to hire people. If you are self-employed, you need to start hiring people to do what you do and install systems so that you will not be as tired and as exhausted and so that they can do it for you consistently and continue to earn for you even in your absence. You need to install systems. And what are these systems? Hiring systems, training systems, accounting systems, selling systems, inventory systems, and many other systems that are needed in your business. So once you have many people following the systems that you have installed, you can now replicate the business and have many branches in different geographical areas. And as you continue to earn, you will reach the point when, where you can now become an investor because you already have the money to do so. Because now you will have the millions to buy stocks, real estate, etc. And you can continue to let your business run without you because it is now run by people using the systems that you have put in place. Now, before we became franchisees of Chowking and SDI, my husband and I wanted to have different businesses. And I'm sure most of you also have that kind of thinking. But when we learned from Kiyosaki, we just saw how much easier it is to have a set of systems, just one set of systems that can be replicated all over the country compared to what we had. Five businesses with different systems, one system each, that is so much of a headache. That is why we decided to close our businesses and to focus only on one that we can replicate again and again to more than 30 branches in different cities. One we can even franchise out to others later on so we can grow quickly and earn royalties from. And this is a lesson that I now teach my mentees. Start with a side hustle if you are an employee and then you become a self-employed person when the side hustle is already going strong and learn how to do it. Learn yourself how to do it. And once you already know how to do that, the side hustle, what you can do is to hire people now and establish systems and multiply yourself. By that time, don't do everything by yourself anymore. Because if you keep on doing everything by yourself and not hiring people to do it, then you are just self-employed, even if you're calling it a business. And you are now just a self-employed person and not a business owner. Make sense? So the question for us is, is your business really a business? I will not answer that. I want you to answer that. If you can leave it for six months to one year and it will still run because there are people who are running it using the systems you installed, then it is a business. This is Mommy N, your Mommy Negosyo saying, be business-minded. See you in the next video.